Hank has to feed, has to share his area with the the calves. And he is not happy about it. Let me tell you. But they're cute, aren't they cute? Old Hank, they're cute. They are cute. I'm not big fans of people. All right, neither myself nor old Hank are doing real good with this heat. We're we're falling apart here, people, aren't we, old buddy? Hank is looking pretty rough. No rain for, oh, I'm going to guess 45 days. And uh, I can't brush the salt away from him anymore. It's just all built up. Poor old guy. All right, let me rotate. Well, I am, I am working. Slowly, slowly working. I've got two more pieces of sheetrock out there that I uh, want to get installed. I want to get that piece of, uh, I've decided hardy plank and I bought it and got it here. Hardy plank there because if it leaks in from the window, I've decided I don't want drywall. I want hardy plank. These doors, I'm going to try to get hung today. Uh, I went and found um, some ideas that at the uh, big box stores, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, I went there last night. Walked around and thought, well, how will I fit in? three doors on barn glides that'll be tucked into each other as opposed to uh, normally they would go you know they'd split like that but I am going to tuck them all in roughly this way I want to start getting this thing roughed in uh, I'm gonna guess the temperature in here right now is a mere 86 very nice very nice so. alright let me get it straightened out there so that I can put that, that uh, party board in there cement board For those who don't use the name brand party board the stock tanks holding up up there they still all got water but I think I go and get clean water for him and I can't give him water right now because those little calves will just drink it all up. And that's uh, that's what he complains about. Hank doesn't like sharing. I don't blame him, he's an old guy. New kids on the block. Gotta admit those little cattle are cute though. Now you use gypsum inside of stock tanks to settle the uh, the dirt out and make your stock tank clean. So I'll pick that and get rid of any pop bottles or screws that dropped in that and then eventually use it to keep my stock ponds clean. And one pond already went dry. The other one still got water for the cattle. This was pretty early in the year, in my opinion, this year. To start losing water so soon. enough breeze in there and when it turns it'll blow that right down mess it all up now they make hardy plank saw blades <clears throat> for cutting hardy plank so I could I could use those but uh 
I'm not. I'm just going to use uh, my drywall tools and just go ahead and snap it, you know, measure it and snap it. Uh, and then I'll drill a couple of holes and run a jigsaw in there. And, uh, run a couple of holes and run a jigsaw in there and cut out the power box. That'll be a 20 amp right there so that I can run, um, you know, put an AC unit in there if need be. The rest of the circuit will be for a 15 amp. And of course, it'll be on its own circuit. I'll pull the wire, but it'll be on its own circuit. All right. using an old knife blade because uh, it'll be ruined anyway. I'm uh, using pretty good pressure on it, but at no point am I pressing so hard that I'll fall out of the groove. At a certain point, I'll decide it's deep enough I can snap it. I got another window over there. I'll, I'll cut that other piece for the other window. They make this hardy plank in 3x5s and 4x8s. So it's heavy, so get the size that you need. And uh, because it's just so heavy that if you get it too big, it's just too hard. It's a lot heavier than drywall. And then I'll put this piece over there. I'll, I'll end up cutting that and insulating that window too. If, Especially if the power's in it already. Where possible, I try to put things up as soon as I get it so that it doesn't end up broken. But um, looky there, almost fits. Almost fits. How much am I off? Just a little bit. This little foot lever tool, if you flip it over, it's got a little rasp on the other side. I am literally an eighth of an inch away from uh, being able to fit that in. <laughs> As the fates would have it. It is so close. Oh, close. Let me see it flipping around me. There's a little angle that I could use. Man, that is, that is awesome. All right, well, I will chase it with a razor knife on the edge. Just a little to make it go in a little easier. There we go. Almost done. Mm. 
All right, I'm going to use a box I already have. I'll check to make sure it's the same box. Since I buy things as I go, sometimes I get a, you know, from a different vendor. I'm going to see if that's hard enough. These little, uh, how do they call them, marking guard. I just got them off of uh, Amazon. I'm going to see if that's strong enough to dent that hardy plank. So it'll make a little dent, and then I'll trace, you know, the box around it. Go in like that. Let's see. I am hoping they're close enough. I'm going to use that as a template. They are not the same thing, though. So it wasn't strong enough to dent the hardy plank, but I was I used it anyway, and I kind of marked where the tip is, which is right there. And now I'll just trace around it. It'll be a little bit off because the hardy plank was at an angle, like that. So when it comes out all the way in, it will be a little higher. I might even measure just to make sure I get the top piece. How about that? If I get the top of the box, then I'll be okay. Let's do that. No, that did surprise me. The uh, the angle of the board is such that it's you know a full full inch off. I'm gonna guess. So I did need to make that measurement. All right. jigged around it and it doesn't look too bad right I drilled a couple of holes using uh, I couldn't find my masonry bits I used the uh, tit old titanium bits I had I didn't care about and then I used a jigsaw cut that out now I treat hardy plank just like you would drywall uh, you know I don't care <laughs> people might say I need to do it differently I, I don't I guess if I was doing it on the outside of a house and there's a lot of it, you know, I would uh, definitely make sure, definitely make sure that uh, I had the saws for it and everything. All right, make some holes. I'm gonna dimple, I'm gonna make dimples for the screws because it's not drywall, it won't self dimple with drywall screws. So make all the dimples I need for the screws around it now. And then I'll screw it on. I'll make pilot holes as well so I don't uh, break anything. I think this is a smart approach to uh, doing a thousand year house. Any place where I know that I'll have watery grass through there. Uh, I'll forget and leave a window open someday. If not me in a thousand years, somebody will, for sure. So, uh, you know, I like the idea of cement board here, very much. Now, because I am worried about a little bit about uh, rain, I went ahead and got stainless steel in the bathroom and under the uh, windows. And uh, that's how I'm handling that for a thousand years.
apparently I've got too much insulation in here. The manufacturers tell you what your compression rate is. Right in this spot, I went over it. One of the reasons why it's just not going in. Gotta tell you, I'm excited to touch insulation. It's kind of heat. Whew. See what was the uh, when I passed through the outside? There's a lag bolt right there. That's what was in the way. I couldn't see it from the angle. All right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. That piece is a hardy plank. The rest of it is drywall, 5 8 inch, all fire rated. Plus the outside will have adobe. So I'm really trying to build a fireproof house in Central Texas, uh, especially in my county where it has been ravaged by fires already. But uh, I'm gonna take a little break here. I mean, that was just one piece. You can just see that I'm drenched. And I'm not a guy with a sweating problem or anything like that. I'm not on medication. This is just the heat. And uh, so I'm taking my time so uh, I don't die. Let's check on Hank, see if the those little calves left him alone. If so, I'll make sure I fill his water bucket. Uh, he's just been lurking around up here. Hank, are, is anybody bothering you? They come and they, they steal his water. I got him, old horse. Were you sleeping? I'll wake you up in nappy time. All right, let me get you some water. Poor old thing. Tell you, that's 120. Now, before anybody goes to telling me I'm not taking care of this horse right, listen, it's, we both are being treated exactly the same. Uh, exactly the same. So it is tough out here. Let me get him some water. The old expression, you could take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's 100% true. Let me stick this right in front of his nose. Right in front. <laughs> if you don't drink it, them cattle will come up here and drink it from you and make you go to the muddy stock pond and drink out of that muddy stock pond. I'm just saying. You should put all that inside you. I'm not trying to bowl of you. That's your water though. And then you come tattle. Literally every time the cattle come up here and steal his stuff, he comes over and he goes, May, May. And I'm like, dude, I mean, I can't help you. If you're not gonna consume it as fast as you can, a cattle will come up. I've got it open here because they, I just want them to graze everything. Uh, helps them, right? Keeps them fat because they got to eat a lot more to get nutrients out of uh, dead hay, dead grass. It helps me in that I, it keeps my, uh, see, I don't have the prairie all up here anymore. They've eaten it all down and now I can go out with a string trimmer. First good rain. <laughs> Right after I'm going to string trim all this and mow it. I'm not going to do that now. It's it's not uh, probably got a burn band and a no mow, mow band. I'm going to guess, right? All right. Well, there's old Hank. He's got water, everybody. Uh, I don't know. I might put a bunch of little ones up since I can't, you know, work for a couple hours straight like I used to. Maybe I'll just put up a little one here. And, and as I go this week, 
So that one was uh, about putting hardy plank in a house, and it does take some extra steps. So on, uh, they make special blades for cutting hardy plank, and it's just a, a couple of uh, teeth on it. It's a masonry blade, not a lot of blade. Uh, don't use uh, like a carbide tip, it'll throw a lot of dust up in the air. They make ones with two or three blades on them that just nibbles through and uh, doesn't make a lot of dust. I just score it like drywall, but you do have to press hard. It is a lot of hard work. Uh, I don't know, it's cheaper than the blades. And uh, if I was doing the outside of a house, I'd have the blades is what I'm saying. But cutting one or two sheets under a window, yeah. Um, and then you gotta dimple them by hand uh, with the drill bit because the drywall screws will not drill and um, drill pilot holes and then you gotta knock the little slag off the back or uh, your uh, hardy plank won't fit down. Uh, I'm just gonna plaster it just like it's regular uh, drywall. So I've ordered a small sampling of uh, Italian marbling. Um, what do I want? I keep saying Italian marbling. Venetian plaster from Italy and a small sample arrived. It's in blue. So I'm going to do that back wall in that blue uh, as an accent wall, and we'll all see together. Uh, I've got everything I need to start mudding and taping, so I'll start mudding and taping these seams. But I need to get in and take a break from the heat myself. Uh, oh, is Hank drinking? No. Did you drink? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He did while I wasn't looking. We'll all look together. Maybe it just makes me feel guilty. <laughs> it's so hot. I do. I feel for the old guy. All right. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I think I'll cut it off here. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.